Yo, what up, people? First video of 2015, and right off the bat, Andre Ward no longer is going to be on the shelf as he signs a deal with Rock Nation. As many were, I guess, being alluded to from uh, rumors that we were hearing over the few past few months, but with the with the whole legal situation that Andre Ward was going through with Goose and Tudor Promotions. It looks as if they've granted him a release or buyout, whichever way I guess uh, it pans out when we find out later. But he is officially uh, a Rock Nation boxing fighter. This really legitimizes Rock Nation from going into 2015 and beyond because you got the number two pound for pound fighter in the world. And right now, it, it's really sky's the limit as to what they're gonna do. They had a Fox Sports. Uh, card last night and I believe Andre Ward may still get dates on HBO so that again opens Rock Nation up to potentially get their fighters on HBO now to tie in with uh, Andre Ward they've also acquired uh, Gary Shaw's promotion and have taken in all his fighters as well I guess the misconception that people are gonna have from the get-go is they're gonna compare Rock Nation to like 50s promotion that really isn't doing that well but when you look at <laughs> uh, how I mean I don't know if it's Jay-Z directly but I mean it is his company in general but they have a department that is just boxing related and now they have pointed Gary Shaw as the head of Rock Nation Sports and David Iskowitz, who is uh, a former employee for, uh, I, ex I forgot exactly what he did, but he, he worked for Golden Boy. So they have people that uh, have years of experience in the sport. So it's not like they're going into this really blind. And from what Andre Ward was saying, they, they asked him uh, how, how long it, 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 this was, you know, being prolonged. And he was like, this has been going on for like a year as far as... Uh, Rock Nation approaching him and be like, yo, we, uh, we want to sign you. And, you know, before people, again, kind of confuse <laughs> or, or try to compare 50 situation with Rock Nation, you know, meaning two rap moguls that own uh, two boxing promotions. Rock Nation in general has a, a list of athletes from Geno Smith to Kevin Durant to Robinson Cano and the list goes on. I mean, these are multi-million dollar athletes that are getting paid real nice. And which led me to believe that when they went along with this boxing promotion, I knew it was gonna be on a bigger scale than, you know, 50 situation. And again, that's not to say 50 can't be successful in his own right, but I think Rock Nation has the potential if it becomes a consistent thing where they can be the third powerhouse. And now you add in the whole, uh, uh, Al Heyman factor and Golden Boy situation, which that's a whole other video I have to do. Uh, if anybody's been uh, keeping up with the news in the past couple, uh, or really past day or so, but uh, to stick on to the topic, this is really the best thing that could have happened to Andre Ward. I think for him being uh, 30 years old and being still in his prime and missing out on those peak years. It, it could have been a good or a bad thing. I mean, he even said himself, he's like, you know, his body needed rest and he thinks he's going to be better than ever. And he, he, he made a point to, you know, you know, Floyd took like two sabbaticals and, and still a great. And, you know, Andre Ward's still 30 years old. The question mark is who's he going to fight right off the bat? And I've even told people whoever he's going to fight, it's not going to be a top level fight because he's going to get a tune up and he deserves it. He's fought, really, I mean, everybody that, that was possibly there to fight. Somebody did ask him about going to light heavyweight, and he even said when his body feels to light heavyweight, he'll go up there. And, and what he meant by that was, he said when his body's feeling to like 190 pounds and he can come back down to 175, he'll do it, which I was like, okay. As of right now, I think he's gonna stay at 168, and he, he was making the argument that uh, he doesn't see why he has to move up. Uh, why he can't just be the guy to defend his title and him be the one at the throne and him try to or, or somebody try to knock him off and I guess I get that I guess for the sake of the fans it, it becomes a deal where it's like alright well we want to see competitive fights 
and at 168 right now there isn't anybody there that's gonna in my opinion pose a challenge to him and you got Carl Frotch there who he already beat and he already came out said himself he's like yeah the guy might you know fight me sloppy and, and beat me on points the talk right now that's gonna lead into this year and possibly next year is a fight with Andre Ward and Gennady Golovkin uh, I obviously don't see that fight happening this year. I would gauge that fight, if anything, to happen in the fall of 2016. What people got to remember about Andre Ward and, and, and Gennady Golovkin is, at least for Golovkin, he's he's at a point in his career right now where he, he's looking at a potential fight with either Cotto or Canelo. And those are bigger money fights right now than Andre Ward. And Andre Ward I, and even uh, Virgil Hunter have made mention like they they know like that fight is on the horizon, but not 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 in the in the immediate future. So I don't expect Andre Ward to really fight any top level guys at least maybe till the fall, or maybe into the summer. But his first fight I don't believe is going to be anything like. Crazy. Really, the other question mark is what network is he going to fight on? Um, he hasn't fought on Showtime since the Super 6, and he's been fighting on HBO, and then he said he doesn't see why he wouldn't fight on HBO again, so I guess we'll have to wait and see for that. I think this is a good thing for him, and you know we're going to get to see more of him, hopefully. <laughs> uh, I think we should see him three times this year, and I, th I think he did say he wanted to fight three times, but you know, we'll have to wait and see. So as I always say, subscribe, hit the links, and I'll be back with you soon.